Hi, I'm David. Welcome to Leisurebit. And today I'm coming to you from the Horseshoe Hotel, which is home for the night in Egton Bridge, which isn't too far away from Whitby in North Yorkshire. I then head over to Gorthland, where we check out Aidensfield and Hogsmeade. Let's go and take a look around. Leisure bit is the way to go with David, Rachel and Roxy. Let's hit the road and explore. After getting terribly lost following the sat-nav, which took me on a really bizarre route trying to bring me into the back of Egton Bridge, which eventually took me to a road close, so I had to come all the way back. Eventually I got back on the A171 and then headed down the normal route, so for the next 30 seconds, here's the route I took so you don't get lost. Me, you don't need a bit longer journey than I was expecting getting lost following the sat nav I've arrived if you do wish to stop here you need to contact the Horseshoe Hotel and book a space on arrival you pull into the hotel car park and the manager came out to greet us and showed us where to park which was really nice after getting settled in went for drinks and a lovely meal in the hotel with George and Rose which was really nice I had the burger very tasty after the meal and drinks, I headed back to the van and got settled in for the night and had a lovely night's sleep. So it was free to stop over in the Horseshoe Hotel car park, providing obviously you were eating or drinking in the pub. There's a £12 charge if you use the hookup, but it is not your off your food and drink. You can't say fairer than that now, can you? Got the farm shop over there, the hotel just behind us, and an outside barn as well. And you can just wander through here. We've got the loos, which I believe are open all night, these ones. There's some other ones inside the hotel, but uh, yeah, those ones seem to be open all night, so very handy if you stop over. Near the entrance, there's a footpath which takes us down to the River Esk. There's also some stepping stones. Let's go and check them out. That was good fun coming across those stepping stones. It's as you feel like a little kid again. And there's some more. Come with me. Let's try these ones now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I really wouldn't want to fall into that, would you? Very fast moving. Really interesting what the River Esk does here. I imagine in times when the river's up, it'll flow over here too. You probably gather it's just started to rain. There is a handy bench up there if you fancy a seat. I'm gonna head back along now, back across the stepping stones as with this rain, everything started to get a bit slippy. So hopefully, I'm not gonna fall in. <laughs> if you do decide to stay here, I'd highly recommend checking out the stepping stones. Really pleased I came down there. Nice little bit of fun. And nice to have a look around. See the Esk heading its way there down to Whitby.
just do be careful if it's wet because it is a little bit slippy now. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. View of the car park. See us in the middle there. See the hens wandering around. Just opposite the entrance to the hotel is the old post office. Just having a little wander now into the centre of the village. Just have a look and see what we can find there. Uh, we came in through here on the way in last night. You probably saw it on the arriving footage. Wandering over the bridge. Take a look and see what we can see over here, as you would expect. So the bridge was originally constructed in 1758, but was destroyed in floods in the 1930s and recently back in the 90s was reconstructed in the same form as it was previously. So this is Egton Bridge. It was officially opened in February 1994. The hamlet of Egton Bridge gets its name, unsurprisingly, from the bridge. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Riverside Garden. Once I got back to the van, I made myself a coffee and some breakfast. A few moments later. It's Saturday morning, time for some breakfast. I had a lovely sleep in the van last night. It's not the same without Rachel and Roxy, but it's still nice to get away. Enjoyed the food, uh, it was very nice. Uh, the burger was uh, delicious, uh, very good. And there was a good selection of food on the menu. I do really like the pub stopovers and it's nice to see a bit of variety because some of them are just a park up where you're literally parking in the car park. There's no services apart from when the pub's open. Here we've got an electrical hookup and a 16 amp electrical hookup. You don't get better than that in the UK on campsites, do you? There's also a toilet and I believe you can get into it uh, 24 hours because it's kind of an outside one. There's additional toilets within the pub itself as well or in the hotel. There's also a farm shop so I'm hoping to check that out before leaving. I do like a good look around a farm shop. There's always something interesting to eat but I like the little gifts as well. Fingers crossed it's open today. Unfortunately the farm shop hadn't opened by the time I decided to leave so good reason to go back another time isn't it? I now made my way to Gothland. Baby, baby, since first we met, I knew in this heart of mine. Now, top tip, another sat nav issue. Don't take the road to the Esk Valley, because it's a single track road, as I found out going down, and it was a right pain when I had to reverse back because something else was coming. Give me love like you. Unfortunately, I got back onto the roads that ran through to Gothland. But even then, the sat nav was telling me to turn right when it was left. Turn right onto St. Tennis Terrace. Have you guys had any problems like this with yours, where it tries to send you down narrow routes? Let us know your experiences in the comments. Back on Normalish Roads now, made my way into Gothland. And of course, typical British weather. It started to drizzle. So I've arrived at Gothland, the village stores. I parked in this car park. It was £4.50 and that was for all day. 
I actually didn't have any change, so I need to remember to pay the lady on the way out. Thanks to George for having some change and squaring up there. You may find Gawthorn looks familiar. A lot of it was featured in the TV series Heartbeat. Probably remember that from a few years back. Good old a green grass and the gang. Probably recognise the stars from the series. Look at those. Heartbeat was a British TV series which ran from 1992 till 2010. The series is set in the North Riding of Yorkshire in the 1960s. In the TV series, the village is known as Aidensfield, which is a fictional village, and a lot of the scenes are set around Gothland. His gift shop. I'm all things. Naughty spot. A cafe. We stopped off at the Moors coffee shop for a sausage sandwich and a latte, and then had a look around the gift shop. Some really interesting gifts, and even got Roxy a soft, squeaky bone. <laughs> So here we are in Gothland, or Aidensfield, where Heartbeat was filmed. Recognise some of the buildings here. Uh, explore a little bit further. There's another car park there, and it's got a bus in, but most of the spaces are a bit small for the van, so probably better in that one there. It's the Gothland Hotel. Just across the road is Scripps Funeral Services in Aidensfield Garage. The old petrol pump. Scripps Garage. Greengrass used to hang around here a lot. Taking a wander down to the station now. Join looking around here, it's very interesting. Looks like there's quite a bit of work going on on this bit of the station. So here we are at Hogsmeade Station, now known as Gothland. Here. Gotham stations had appearances in all sorts of TV series and films, including Heartbeat, where it was fe featured as Aidensfield Station. It also featured in Harry Potter as Hogsmeade, as it's been in all creatures great and small, and even featured in Simply Red's Holding Back the Years, amongst many others. 
cracking little station, well worth a visit. On the other side of the line you can see the coaches there, they're actually camping car coaches and I believe you can stay in those. How about that? And learning coach. This is really cool. I'm just waiting for the train to come in now, the 11.55. Here comes the train. So that was Gothland Station, Hogsmeade or Ravensfield, depending on which era or which series you're watching from. Enjoyed that. Of course, you can get a train to Whitby or to Pickering from there as well. Head back now to the car park and hope you come and visit this beautiful area in the North York Moors. And apologies to those of you who watched the previous video we did from the Book Inn at uh, Chopyat, Chopgate, um, as I called it, the North Yorkshire Moors, and it's the North York Moors. Thanks for the correction on that one, appreciate it. Beard and Spiggle Down. <laughs> the bus there to York and Leeds, perhaps in two minutes. We'll wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it useful. Catch you on the next one. Bye.